from our perspective, looks at the lives and behaviors of millennials, Generation Z, and the changes that are happening in our 21st century and the innovators that are making it happen. We will explore trends, technology, music, fashion, social media, business, science, the arts, faith, and lifestyle. So come join us on Comcast, Verizon, and online. The animation series Lost and Found is 21st Century Innovators' first original animation. After many months of hard work putting together the storyline, character creation, script writing, voice acting, Episode 1, A Girl Named Elena, is ready for its U.S. debut. Its original, showing before several small audiences, provided us with relevant feedback. Audiences were allowed to express how each character made them feel and what message did they get from watching the episode. A girl named Elena is a true story. It's real life. Abuse is a tough story to tell, but tell it we must. The statistics show that the number of young women and men that are being abused is climbing and making audiences aware that there is help is important. Elena? Are you in there? Elena? Miss Mary, you may see Elena now. She's still unconscious but medication was given to counteract the effects of the drug she took. She'll be just fine. Elena, I don't know if you can hear me, sweetheart. I can't do this anymore. 
You can't keep pretending nothing's wrong. And I can't keep pretending I don't know. But I'll save that for when you wake up. My name is Grace. Do you have cancer too? It's okay. My mommy says God knows it hurts. And she said he will take our pain away if we let him. Come on, I'll show you. See, this is the prayer I wrote for you. Grace, sweetie, I was looking all over for you. Come on, you need to go back to your room. Aww, okay. I take it she wasn't really bothering you? You know, she's going home today. That sweet little girl is cancer-free. Her doctor's just about to give her and her parents the news. A girl named Elena had its international debut at a youth church service on the twin islands of Trinidad and Tobago. The audience were mainly comprised of youth between the ages of 14 to 22. After the animation was aired, a lively discussion was held young people were able to express their views about the film. Anybody got any message? Somebody, God knows me. What she got? She was in abusive relationship. What she got? Turn to go on. What she got? You shouldn't want to end your life because of abuse. Anybody? What's that? Tell me. All right. So, so here is it. Well, guys, firstly, again, you have to forgive me. I really, I really thought anime was a short for animation. It is because that's what I thought. So I say it's animation, but I thought 
So I learned it, right? Yeah. Will you forgive me? Yes. <laughs> right, so a little bit of animation. But what we want to do, we want to develop stories through animation. We want some of you, you have a story, but you don't want to just tell it. So we could do it through animation. You would like to do that? The person who started something like this, she's here with us. She's not going to be um, in Trinidad next week. So I wanted her to share a little bit on, uh, now she did not do it. She, her, her heart is to employ young people to do these kind of animations, right? She has her own local cable, am I right? And uh, she has been a member of our youth ministry some time ago. <laughs> but she used to be right here. Everybody said right here. Right. And she says, you know, to me, she says, Pastor David, I want to be able to empower young people to tell their own stories. And I think that's a very good idea. This is yes. Yes? Amen. You like that? So uh, can you put your hands together for her? Right? She's coming out to share. Warm, warm welcome. Warm, warm. Thank you very much. Um, and also, also, not just anime, animation. Not just animation, but she could, she could find giftings in young people in different ways, not just in terms of animation. So she would, the first thing she would really like to get from us is what is your, what is your passion? Many of you, um, let me see if you have anybody 12 years old here. 12, stand. Stand, if you're 12, no problem. Put your hands together for him. You have, you have 12 year olds on YouTube. You have 9 year olds. You have those, you have a child 8 years old doing unboxing and millionaire. You know that person, eh? Millionaire, just doing unboxing. The, the, uh, what I'm saying is this, if you're not too young. Alright, so we just turn over, we're going to hear from our sister a little bit and I think she has some gifts to give at the end. Alright, so pay attention, put your hands together for her again. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, the clip that you just saw, I actually did the version that is non-narrated. Um, so the narrated version tells you the whole story of what happened. The young lady who did this clip is one of the people who's part of my program called 21stCenturyInnovators.com. And um, we have one of our youth um, singers, Landon. Is he? Is Landon? Where is he? Landon Webb. Landon Webb. Where is he? It is. Yeah. So he was one. Mom knows me. We were way back in the day um, with youth and everything. So his mom is sitting in the back. Um, so basically, this young lady, she loves to do anime, Japanese anime, right? This is the. English version of anime, um, which she um, really wanted to do. She never did animation before, she did illustration. And she actually, she's only 20, she started at 16, 17, she just turned 20. And this is her first animation. The sound was a little bit, you know, um, sketchy there. Um, but that, of course, is just, you know, because I just gave it to them just before we came in. And the story that she's telling is a true story. But unfortunately, the young lady in this, in her story, actually was successful in her suicide. That's the sad part of it. Um, and the, in this episode, as you saw, the young girl whose name is Elena, her boyfriend was beating her, and she had enough, and she tried to commit suicide. But she got saved by the old woman, whose voice you heard was my acting voice. Um, as well as other young people who did the voice acting. Um, what Pastor David was saying also too, as part of 21st Century Innovators, we have a program called From Our Perspective, which runs on local cable in the United States. So it runs through Comcast and Verizon, actual cable and through people's homes. Um, that was a platform that God allowed me to have, again, for individuals like yourselves, um, who wish to be in that creative art space. One of the words, and I was talking to Pastor David um, just before we started, is that what God showed me 
in reaching young people, we have to run a campaign. Just as all in social media, you know everybody's on it. Old, young, everybody's on social media. We can do that to reach other youth. This message, as I said, was a healing process for this young girl because, as I said, her story unfortunately ended with the person actually successful in that suicide. Um, and the sad thing about it is, you know, you leave other members, family and friend in that pain. We don't want that to happen. We want to be able to allow individuals like yourself to tell your story. What does the word of God say? We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word our testimony. What this also allows to is that it allowed, we also had other um, TV episodes with the characters who played this part where we asked questions. Why do you think Elena stayed in that situation? Because we're identifying with the anime or the animation of that character, people were willing to talk about it. Do you see what I'm saying? Because we, Elena was a character. And so they were free to express. And freeing to express, people really tell their truth. See? So when people were expressing what they thought of Elena, they said things like, maybe she was scared. Even though the neighbor, who was an older woman, was hearing all this, and she says in the, in the story, Elena, I can't take, you can't do this anymore. You can't do this anymore. Why do you think Elena, and let me ask you the question to see if you all have the same response when that question was asked. Why do you think Elena stayed in that situation? Because she was a man to man. Yeah, Trini version, yeah. Trini, because she loved him too bad, right? She doesn't know her value. Yes. Probably because if she left them, he would try to find them. That's another, that's another serious aspect of it too, right? Anybody else? She doesn't know what she is with all of them. You know what? That's it with a lot of individuals. They really feel that this person is their world, right? And she's taking that, and it's not the first time, because you heard what the, um, the woman who is Miss Mary, who I voice at, said, this is not the first time. I'm hearing this because it's an apartment building. I'm hearing this, and she rushes her to the hospital, right? And then let me ask the question as to how did you all, what do you think about um, Elena at the hospital? What do you think she was feeling when someone reached out to her, that, that young girl? She reached out to her. What do you think? You saw her crying. But what do you really think Elena was feeling at that point? You know what? That is really beautiful. I never even saw that. The little girl is, who has cancer has died. She is trying to save her life. And here is this person who is healthy trying to take her home. But you see how that story, that, those, that just that animation allows us to really express what we are feeling inside and that they be that healing process. Anybody else wants to talk about that part of it um, as to how you think? I think that Elena was in actually unloved properly. Um, in that relationship, she thought that was love. Mm. And when the little girl came up to her, she saw a different version of love. Mm. Wow, that's powerful. Because actually in the narration version of this animation, mm. that is what was mentioned. Huh. Um, that part we didn't, because I wanted to just to do it more of a series whereby individuals just kind of saw the one the words that people were speaking but in the narration it mentions that her parents did not really care for her and they were saying because of that feeling is what she took right one more person one more person remember we're talking about a character so you're just talking if you want to say something okay anybody else before i go one more person no Okay. 
That's excellent. Yeah. Because when you don't grow up with a lot of love, right, you feel that you feel comfort in that setting. You know? And you know here in islands where people say, um, man, he, he beat you. And, and actually, I heard this, huh? You beat him? Then you'll be okay. Take two slap. Yeah, then. Right? You feel that, right? So, what, as I said, this is the first series one. The story goes on to five episodes. Um, but this is the first series. And I think we can give that young little girl, her name is Samantha Lynch, an applaud because this is actually the take. I'm going to take it back to her. To let her know. This is my first animation. And I'm so proud of her and what she did. Right? Um, the last thing is that, in reference, I'm not going to take up too much of your time, but I just want to really appreciate Pastor David Charles for allowing me this opportunity. Pastor. Douglas Gibson, um, the Church of the Open Bible, Pastor Luke, they have always supported me in what this program is offering. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, what I'm bringing out to you guys is that y'all can be part of this social campaign. Short clips, creative idea, that's gonna be putting it out there to come back. Because a lot of times I think what is happening with a lot of the youth violence, I don't think people really realize when you die where you go, you know. If you really believe there's a hell, you think you'll be shooting up yourself? That you're living in pain forever and ever and ever? And we have lost that. People really don't think that that's what's happening. And that's what the enemy has done. He has fooled so many of us to think that when you die, that's it. There's nothing. No. When you die, there is a hell and there is a heaven. Right? And we have to remember that. And you have to tell your friends that. Because they're taking these guns. They're taking these, you know, their lives, they're taking, you know, all this and not realizing there's really a true a hell and a heaven. And that's the story you want to present. And that you have a purpose. You have a purpose. Each one of you are so important to God. Each one of you have a purpose and a reason for being here. And that's what we're about. Let's pull that gifting that you have. We have mentors to help you reach that goal and you will be a successful contributed to society, but not just to society, to yourself. Because what does the Bible say? Without a vision of people? Perish. Perish. And we don't want to be the perishing time. Right? So I am? I am you. I am? What else? Great. I am? What, creative, wonderfully. What else? I am? Excellent. I am? Unstoppable. I am? Star. Amen, amen. Thank you, Pastor David. Oh, one more time. Put your hands together for him. Do you know what you think? Do you think you could do some good animation? No, that's not your field. No. Anybody you think you could do some good animation? You think that good? I've seen some hands. We have, we, what we'll be doing is exposing it also to some other areas. I mean, if it didn't mind, if it didn't mind, good.
talk to me if you're feeling sad. Thanks for hearing me out, bro. Whenever you need to talk, I'm here, okay? Thousands of kids start vaping, and I can't let this happen to my kid. So if you want to talk to your kids, you have to get it trending. No, you're doing it wrong. Let's go. <laughs> Can we talk? Yeah, what's up? Visit talkaboutvaping.org for tips on when and how to have the vape talk. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me.